Grade 8 math number 4.2c, get the slope-intercept form of an equation from an ordered pair. We learned in the last video that this is the slope-intercept form of an equation, y equals mx plus b. The x and the y are x and y values. The slope is m, like in the slope formula. And this b is the y-intercept. It's where the line hits the y-axis. We can get the slope-intercept form of an equation by doing a few steps to isolate that y. So we know that whenever or wherever the x equals 0 is the y-intercept, it's the b. We covered that in video 4.2a in this playlist for grade A math. Well, now we know that m stands for the slope of the line, like in the slope formula. And we know that the y stands for a y-coordinate and the x stands for an x-coordinate in an ordered pair. Well, in our slope-intercept form of an equation, the y stands for y2 and the x stands for x2 in the slope formula. If we have a line with slope m and y-intercept b, we know the ordered pair 0b must be on our line. That's the point where our line, on our line where x equals 0 and the line intercepts the y-axis. So for here, x has got to be 0, see, because here's the x and here's the y. So x is on 0, and on this one, the line hits it right here at the 5. That's the y-intercept. It's where the line, the red line, crosses the y-axis, and it does it at 5. So our coordinates are 0, 5. So we're going to use 0, b, because b means y-intercept, so we're just going to use that b, okay? And the slope is the ratio. It's the fraction of the change in y values over the change in x values. So this is the equation for the slope formula using the y-intercept, that 0b, and another point, xy on the line. Now, I could have used any other point, like this 2, 8, or, you know, this one, or any place where it crossed, even like right here. See? But I'm just going to use xy. So, if these are our two coordinates, our ordered pairs, for the slope formula, we need to take y1 from y2. So that means we have y minus b. See, that's y2 minus y1. That's the slope formula. If you don't remember, it's the change in y values over the change in x values. So it's y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 as a fraction, as a ratio. Okay? So here's our two ordered pairs. And we've got y2 and y1. So we're going to do y minus b. That's the numerator. Then we're going to do x2 minus x1. So we've got x minus 0. See? So now we've got m, the slope of the line, is going to equal y minus b over x minus 0. Well, x minus 0 is still x, right? It's not going to change because of that 0. So, this, in an equation of a line, we want y by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we solve this equation for y, just like we did in the past. We simplify the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by x because we need to do the inverse of division to get rid of this x, so we need to do multiplication. So we multiply both sides of the equation by x, and these two x's on the right side of the equation cancel each other out. So now all we're left with is m times x equals y minus b. See? It looks like this. m times x equals y minus b. Now we need to get rid of this minus b so we can isolate that y on this side of the equal sign. So we add b to both sides of the equation to isolate that y to the right side. And the minus b plus b creates a zero pair and cancels out. And now we have mx plus b equals y. See? We just rewrite it with the y on the left-hand side, and now it's y equals mx plus b. Does that look familiar? y equals mx plus b. Look at that. So we were able to get the slope-intercept form of an equation from ordered pairs. See that? That wasn't too bad, right? I hope not. I hope I explained it well. Okay, we're going to talk uh, more about slopes and the y-intercept, and I'm going to make a short little video coming up on actually finding the y-intercept and the slope. Okay? I'm going to do that in the next video, 4.2D. I'll see you there. Bye.